Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 30 of my Leeds United FIFA 16 career mode series as we're looking to head into January very soon as something I may talk about in the video. It could be crucial. I may want to make some signings to freshen up the squads, but for now... We have a game away from home against Newcastle United. And also another thing, it's probably not going to be reflected in this game specifically, but there's going to be some fitness troubles uh, with the following game. So maybe I need to manage the squad better. Uh, but I always like to play with my best starting 11 when they're fit. Like this game here, there's no real problems. But anyway, Newcastle United have an early chance and they do score through Remy Cabala. Early goal, unfortunate uh, to concede, uh, but he finished it well. That's uh, his first first goal of the season, uh, so well done to him. Obviously, hasn't been scoring too regularly. A bit disappointed to concede that, though. They do have another chance. They cross it in. Uh, we should look to deal with that maybe counter opportunity here, but it falls to Gufran instead, and he almost scores. Maybe we are a bit lucky there to still be in the game, but Rolando Ahrens makes the interception. He strikes it, but it wasn't too convincing like our performance here today. I could sum it up as a whole as not being too convincing up until this point. Newcastle United with another opportunity. Victor Valdez does well to save, but we definitely had to make some changes. St. Maximum and Turderix coming on uh, kind of quicker, pacier, winger types uh, to freshen up the game uh, for the final 20 minutes to try and chase a goal. So we'll see if they can make an impact. Like a guy like St. Maximum, he hasn't really played this much at all. <laughs> he hasn't played much at all for the whole season, so I'm not sure if he can do much. And that challenge there, I wanted to put that high, uh, highlight in this episode because, or well, at least for this game, obviously, but I wasn't sure if that could have been a penalty or not. I guess the defender got the ball, but I was kind of maybe clutching at straws there because we couldn't create anything ourselves. And look at that from Mitrovic using his pace. And unfortunately for him, he misses. So Newcastle United, they probably deserve more goals in this game. At least one more, if not a couple more. Like if that was my opportunities in this game, most definitely, I thought I would have deserved more. But yeah, going on to talk about something, like I said... There recently, and while I recorded games in this episode, I'm not really pumped up while playing this career mode. Like, when I get into the game, I'm just, like, really not interested for whatever reason. Sometimes that happens. That happens. That's normal with a game and a career mode sometimes in my experience. Like, sometimes I just, after a season or two, or well, yeah, after a season, two or three seasons, something like that, may not just be interested in anymore, but I'm trying to go through it. I'm almost more interested in editing the video and doing the commentary like I am right now, but when I start a game, I'm just, I'm not really hyped up for it, and if I did a live commentary, you probably would tell that in my voice, so I'm not really sure. Do you ever get like that? Maybe, yeah, leave your thoughts. What do you, maybe change up the formation a little bit, because my formation's been the start, uh, it's been the same uh, since I started this career. Just a simple 4 4 2. Do you think that could change it up a bit? Because I don't know. Because the way I see it at this point in time, I probably won't go on with a third season. Of course, I'll just try and uh, be, I suppose, finish it off well. Um, I don't want to finish halfway. I'm not one of those YouTubers, uh, most of the time anyway, that I would just yeah, finish a series in the middle of a season. I'd like to finish the current season I'm playing in. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that. Uh, be a good YouTuber, like I was going to say. I didn't really know how else to put it when I said be. Just, yeah, be a good YouTuber, you know. Um, be uh, good with the series. So, yeah, hopefully that will be all right. Unless I find some inspiration in the second half of this second season. But, I, yeah, I don't know. Just sometimes that happens in a career mode. I'm sure you guys have just stopped playing a career mode yourself. I Actually, now I haven't started too many um, this year. I haven't started too many career modes with FIFA 16. Usually I play a lot more. But anyway, focusing on this game, but I would love to see your thoughts on that anyway. I just have lost interest, I suppose, in actual playing the games in this specific career mode. I like playing with Barcelona at the minute, so yeah, that will allow me to record that a lot more. So yeah, just leave your thoughts, what I could do maybe to start enjoying it again, if you wanted to yeah, see this go on. But again, and playing, a lot, playing out like a lot of nil-nil draws, for the most part of the game anyway, is is a bit boring as well, and leads to that, like in the build-up, I suppose, to these games. 
But maybe we have a chance to win it with Moat and he's able to finish uh, from the free kick. See, I'm not, even now, I'm not too hyped up about that as well. And if I did, it probably would be fake. Like I'm trying to, <laughs> yeah, get pumped up for it. But it was a good, in the moment, yeah, I was happy I scored that. But I wasn't like jumping out of my chair or something like that. Like a late winner, you would probably want to get hyped up about that, <laughs> wouldn't you? But I wasn't really. I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, we're going to win this game. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm overachieving by so much. I know I won't get fired. Uh, Moat did have another opportunity there. Went close. Unfortunately, wasn't able to finish. But yeah, I'd love to see your feedback. Like, are you enjoying this career so far? Like, or are you maybe losing enjoyment a little bit? Um, also, the same thing, like I said, I said I would want to finish off at least this season. But if you're feeling the same like me, maybe it could be the same situation, maybe I would, uh, it would be for best concerns uh, for everyone to stop it, because I don't want to be producing videos and wasting my time, because obviously it might take another month or so at the rate of uploading, or at least three three weeks, maybe two, three weeks, <laughs> at the quickest amount of time, I suppose, uh, to finish off this season, so either way, I'd love to see your feedback, and like, I, maybe it will be better if I focus time on my videos in my series that I am enjoying, and I'm about to start a new FM16 series, which I'm really excited for. So, yeah, maybe uh, that will be best. I would just love to see your feedback. But now you can really see the fitness troubles. Of course, there's games in a short period of time, and this is Chelsea. This is a big game, but in theory, I should be able to do well, even though Chelsea are having a very good season. I'm not saying they're not. <laughs> That's not the reason why. Just I feel as though no team is too hard to beat. I think I just had one game that I felt was really hard. I think it was against Manchester United in this season. Apart from that, though, I've been able to compete in most games, but maybe it won't be the case because look at all the rotations I'm making. Even Saint Maximum... Uh, He's 69 overall. Of course, he scored previously, but it's still going to be very hard to get something from this game away from home against Chelsea. We'd probably see it as one of the hardest games for the season, but we do whip in the cross, and Mbemba is able to get his head to it, and he finishes. I really like the signing of Mbemba. Uh, sometimes in careers, I more so like the squad building side of things. That's why I love football manager and why I played football manager for a long time and made videos on it started my channel because for football manager actually because I'm more so like the transfers and building a squad so I'm really happy with how I've actually built Leeds United and that's why I said going towards January maybe I can yeah look to make some signings ask for for, for some more money hopefully and uh, we'll see if the board gives us that and maybe change up the formation. But right now, uh, Willian uh, scores a very good goal there uh, for Chelsea. Uh, finish well to make it 1-1. Equalizing is a massive goal for them to bring them back into the game. The game is most definitely up for grabs now. That was a quality strike. What you would come to expect from a player like Willian. And again, that's his only first goal in the Premier League so far this season. So even though they're doing well top in the league, he hasn't really... Uh, scored too many goals. Murphy finds Botaka. He's going to set up St. Maximum. Is he going to score against Chelsea? Oh, yes, he does. So we take the lead back through St. Maximum. Don't forget, we only have him on loan. I would ask if he showed enough signs for me to sign him. He probably hasn't. Like, he scores against Chelsea here, which is amazing. This is a sign most definitely, but we haven't really used him too much. But if he can score against Chelsea, uh, maybe, yeah, he can... He can show a bit more uh, for the second half of the season. That's, in fact, if I do use him a bit more. Chris Wood has kind of uh, slipped down the ranks a little bit, not starting anymore because Dongu Safak, uh, yeah, he's been making his name. It was an even game, as you can see by the stats. Rolando Ahrens also had a very good performance himself, getting a 7.5. Uh, Spurs and Liverpool play out a nil-nil draw. Liverpool haven't had the best of seasons. They were sitting around the bottom of the table, not last, but around the bottom uh, we've got FA Cup next as well, so uh, just leave your comments if you'd like to see this series more regularly, and also, more importantly, the response to the video in terms of views and likes on this video. If you would like to see more, don't forget to drop a like, uh, but I'll analyze that a bit more as well if you guys desperately want to continue to see this series or not. And I probably wouldn't replace it with another series. It would just be, yeah, focus more on my other videos. Unless you count my new FM16 uh, series that I would be starting. It could be uh, very well because I'm finishing, well, not finishing. Well, it looks like I'm going to be finishing top four at the minute. 
But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave your feedback on everything I mentioned in this video here today. And I'll see you guys in the very next one.